I want to do a little thought experiment. And the thought experiment goes, there's a cot with a baby in it. And with this baby in the cot, there's a live bunny rabbit and a strawberry. Which one does the baby eat and which one does the baby play with? <laughs> Think about it this way. The FBI states that most serial killers began their life harming animals when they were children. Ted Bundy harmed and abused animals when he was a child. Jeffrey Dahmer harmed and abused animals when he was a child. Why is it that leading criminologists and psychologists look at children who harm animals when they're young as potential red flags for humans who may one day grow up to harm other humans? After all, a lion teaches their children to kill. A tiger teaches their children to kill. A jaguar teaches their children to kill. And yet for some reason, we discourage our children from killing. Why is this? Because it goes against our innate compassion. Now imagine in that cot, imagine if the baby tried to eat the bunny rabbits, right? We think, well, that child should probably be looked after, right? We think there's something wrong with the child if they went to eat the animal. And yet when they grow up, that's precisely what they do do. They eat the animal, right? So why is it that we don't like to see children harming animals? Now imagine if every child that was born into this world, imagine if they were taught that the life of a chicken should be valued with the same respect that we give to the dogs that we cherish in our home or indeed even to our own self. Imagine if every child that was born into this world was told to view the life of a fish in the ocean, a fish they'll never meet, a fish whose life may seem inconsequential. Imagine if that child was taught that that fish should be allowed to live their life without human inflicted pain and exploitation. How would that child ever grow up to harm or oppress another human based on entirely superfluous and irrelevant reasons like race or sexuality or ethnicity or whatever ridiculous reason it is that we choose to oppress each other over? How would that child ever grow up to harbor hatred to other humans if they were taught that all life was precious, that all life should be treated with respect, dignity and compassion and should be allowed the basic fundamental right to live that life?